Sunny Days and Sea Breezes by Carol Matthews, set on the glorious Isle of Wight and published by Sphere. The Sunny Days in the title actually refers to a rather stunning houseboat that is moored off cows on the Isle of Wight. This belongs to Bill who is a renowned interior designer and his sister Jodie has had her heart broken by Chris, her husband, he's been having an affair. She hightails it down from London to the Isle of Wight to go and stay on the boat to kind of get her head in order and to sort out, you know, affairs of the heart as it were. Along with the boat comes Marilyn. Marilyn is a larger than life character who is there to look after her. Now she is one of those people that we often have in friendship groups who you know enthusiastically sends WhatsApp texts and always finishes them off with random selections of emojis. You can imagine the sort of thing. Jodie soon finds her feet in this welcoming part of the world. There is Ida who runs the local cafe. There is George who is the human sculpture. He's also a, an author writing his own novel and she gets to read what he's writing. But more importantly, parked, ward I should say, next to her boat is Sea Breezes and Ned owns Sea Breezes. He's an artist, he's a hippie, um, he's a vegetarian, he is everything that she isn't. And gradually as they form a friendship, and maybe more, she discovers that her staid life in London that she thought was working so well for her actually is dragging her down. With him she explores the island, she enjoys travelling across to the Needles, to Allen Bay and just generally enjoying life and she realises she hasn't done this in an awful long time. All the while Chris, her husband, is trying to get in touch with her, leaving her text messages, WhatsApp messages, but she's not picking up. So she's being looked after by Marilyn. In the background is Bill, her very caring brother. So she is in a good position to actually decide what her future is going to be. There is obviously the attraction of Ned next door because he is a bit of a hunk. He is a wonderful um, wood sculptor and she is really quite drawn to him. If you have read Carol Matthews before, you will know that she is a, an incredibly sunny storyteller. Her novels are uplifting and always full of, you know, the pleasure of life, even though she deals with some very difficult events in people's life, difficult relationships. So if you're looking for something upbeat, something uh, engrossing, something set on the Isle of Wight, then I think Carol Matthews' Sunny Days and Sea Breezes is certainly one to look out for. Enjoy!